There's never been a black cop in this city. We think you might be the man to open things up around here. Hello, this is Ron Stallworth calling. Well, who am I speaking with? This is David Duke. Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan. That David Duke? God. Last time I checked. What can I do you for? Well, since you asked, I hate blacks. I hate Jews, Mexicans, and Irish, Italians, and Chinese. But my mouth to God's ears, I really hate those black rats. And anyone else, really, that doesn't have pure white Aryan blood running through their veins. I'm happy to be talking to a true white American. God bless white America. John David, how are you, man? I'm, I'm good, I'm good, man. Great. I'm good. Happy to be here. Thank I'm you so me. glad to have you here. Thank you. And I saw your movie and enjoyed it, and I think one of the main things that really stuck out, I mean, it took place, what, in the late 60s, yeah. early 70s? 70s, 70s. You know, like that. Yeah, yeah. But this story is still so prevalent today. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's in how, how Spike crafted the film. You know, he, he, he showed it even more so with what happens at the end and, and what, you know, piecing it all together. But, uh, yeah, this, this subject matter is very familiar, you mm -hmm. know, and, and hate is generational. You know, the, the hate language. I mean, this, there's a whole there's a whole lexicon to it, you know, and, mm -hmm. um, and this film really, really showcases that in a major way. And how. And also, I was going to say, you know, like you said, you're back in the 70s, and you kind of like, when I say hoodwinked him, you know, by just talking to him <laughs> on the phone. Yeah, right. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he made, he made fools of him, really. Yeah. And uh, Ron, the real Ron, will tell you that uh, he, he takes a lot of pride in that. He really enjoyed that part of it. But, uh, you know, it, it was it was a very dangerous mission. I mean, this... Mm -hmm. this I remember the, the, the banquet scene, uh, uh, that was the most authentic mm -hmm. like feeling on set of all the movie I had. And I called him the next, I called him that night, Ron, and thanked him just for, for, for doing that, for putting his life on the line, a true American hero. The KKK is planning an attack. How do you propose to make this investigation? We'll establish contact over the phone. We'll need a white officer to play me when they meet face to face. You for the white race, Ron? Oh, hell yeah. So there becomes a combined Ron Stallworth. Can you do that? With the right white man, we can do anything. When's the last time they let a rookie lead an investigation? Oh, that's right. Never. <laughs> okay. Become his friend. Let's get invited back. So what kind of stuff you guys do? Cross burdens, marches. This is fixing to be a big year for us. You ask too many questions. You undercover or something? Right. Because, you know, the, like I said, particular scene, they've got this big clan rally. Oh, they've got man. the black officer there as his protection for David right, Duke. It was just David Duke's detail. Right. Like, I mean, this is crazy. I mean, not only is he the only black officer in, in Colorado mm -hmm. Springs. He was, the, he was the first. So, I mean, they're, like, they're so... You can make a movie on that alone, just him being the first. You know? Right. So it's, it's just... Well, that scenario is just... And it happened. This really happened. Like, it was funny. Like, so I got to meet Ron, and I mm -hmm. talked to him every week. And, and, you know, I knew his story. I did my homework. But it was something about when he passed around that, that, that membership card, the Ku Klux Klan card. <laughs> like, and it had David Duke signature on the back. It was like, I can't believe this guy, man. This happened in our own backyard. <laughs> Crazy. I know when I saw I kept thinking the same thing. Look, ever looking down my name, Greg Russell, member of the like, club, right? Yeah. yeah, and on the back too it has these like rules. It's like the first rule of Flight Club. Don't talk about Flight Club. It was like <laughs> it was crazy. Like these they they're very serious. You know what it is? Uh, uh, hate is very organized. And I think that's why mm -hmm. it stood the test of time. Mm -hmm. I mean, and in this film it kind of explores the resurgence of this of this group through uh Birth of a Nation, David Duke, you know, this neighborly, nice white guy that just hates Black people, anybody ain't pure white, right. <laughs> you know. And then you know, and then and tied in, in you know what's happening in contemporary times. So yes, it's a period piece, mm -hmm. but as a contemporary feel. Now I, you know, Spike can you know mm -hmm. just shove or like just make sure you get these lessons and get these like get the message of the film. But in this case, it really it, it just speaks for itself, you know, and this story does. And uh, I feel like people will see that that. Um, <laughs> that this tradition of hate mm -hmm. is just, we have a lot, we got a lot of work to do, a long way to go. Mm -hmm. We must unite and organize to fight racism. Are you down for the liberation of black people? Power to the people. All power to all the people. All power to all the people. It's right, system. For you, it's a crusade. For me, it's a job. You're Jewish. That hatred, doesn't that piss you off? You're taking this Jew lie detector test. Why are you acting like you ain't got skin in the game? I'm telling you, the wars are coming. Black power! Black power! 
Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. That's us. Stallworth brothers. And just want to, you know, bring it back, like you said, Spike Lee. You've known Spike your whole life. What was yeah. it like to be working with him? Uh, it was, it was an honor. I, I, I it was a master class. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm indebted to him for life. I, I, he, he gave me so much encouragement. He believed in me. He believed mm -hmm. in, in my ability to tell this story through his eyes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a, a, the ultimate collaborative experience. The environment on set was was such of a. It was a peaceful, well, when I say not peaceful, because he can be very intense, but I, I felt like so comfortable to just try and fail with my, with my acting partners. Uh, I never had that before. That kind of responsibility and that kind of trust with that responsibility was incredible. We're on a roll, baby. America first. America first. America first. If I would have known this was a clan, I wouldn't have taken this mother.